With your CID TV News update this Friday, I'm Donna Bush. Nomination day has passed. Next, postal and mobile voting will take place, and then general elections will be on May 24th. Well, we recently spoke to the supervisor of elections who addressed one concern from the public. There's been a question um, in the public domain about whether or not folks are going to spoil their ballot papers because the number of persons that they can vote for has changed. So my answer to that has been fairly consistent. Uh, we've had change in the number of persons representing districts over the years. Um, the last instruction that voters will get before they go into the, the polling booth would be from the presiding officer who will send the message um, you can vote for any candidate of your choice one candidate um, and, and I've already heard some of the political advertisements on the radio um, saying you have one vote let it be mine sort, sort of sort of a message so I don't think that will end up with with sport ballots because of persons voting for more than one candidate. I think they'll get the message by, by the time, it, by the time we, we get to that point. Additionally, once we get past nomination stay on the 29th, persons would know for, for a fact at that point which electoral districts the candidates are in, and they will be campaigning heavily for each electoral district. So persons will know if they're in Georgetown North, for example, that there's only one candidate for Georgetown North, or only one vote for a candidate in Georgetown North. So that, that, I, I don't see that being a problem. <laughs> for more details on the upcoming elections, you can go online to elections.ky. All right, a quick reminder on the Battle of the Books this year that will be taking place tomorrow, Saturday, April 1st, from 9 in the morning to 12 noon. It's all happening at the Sir John A. Cumber Primary School in West Bay. Now, the children's book quiz event is organized by the Cayman Islands Information Professionals, a library association that promotes literacy and knowledge. The event is also sponsored by the Cayman Islands Public Library Service. For more details, you can go online to the Cayman Islands Information Professionals website. The first Battle of the Books started back in 2014. The program encourages boys and girls to read a list of 20 to 30 different books. The competition expands across primary and years 8 and 9. Well, Director of Sports Colin Anglin has confirmed that Prospect Primary is the new Inter-Primary Sports Day champions. Although Red Bay Primary was announced the winner at the end of the meet last Friday, after a recount, it was determined that track and field competitors at Prospect were indeed uh, the winning team. Red Bay came in second place, followed by Sir John A. Cumber in third place. The updated point standings show Prospect Primary with 246.5 points, Red Bay Primary with 241.5 points, and Sir John A. Cumber Primary with 218.5 points. We're informed that due to a narrow margin, a second count was conducted and confirmed that, in fact, Prospect Primary had indeed edged Red Bay for the crown. Well, that's it for today's news update. And for this week, if you've missed our news update, you can go online to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page or to our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me, wishing you a wonderful and, of course, a very safe weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. Until then, bye-bye for now.